brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. The ceremonial turning of sand marks the launch of the Villa del Mar in the village of Mongmong Totumaiti. It will consist of 50 units, 25 three bedrooms and 25 four bedrooms, and will be rented to families with earnings less than 60% of the median income level. Governor Eddie Calvo praised the development for helping to further his goal to build 3,000 high quality affordable units for low income families. The Guamanian dream, I call it for owning or, or at least starting out with a place that they could call home. And uh, I think we're somewhere between 2,000 and 2,500 units. So we got a year left. So you see why I've been cracking the whip? We're almost there. <laughs> this is the latest low income housing tax credit project by Ironwood Guam Development, a pioneer here in the housing and urban development program, which is managed through GURA. Company President Carlos Camacho. Guam is a service industry uh, community, from tourism to government. That's the level of families that we're taking care of. But here's the difference about Ironwood. We're looking for sustainability for quality of life. The Villa del Mar will have a community center, sports facilities, a barbecue area, and Camacho was most proud of the after-school programs for the children living in the development. He says they will have access to such things as computer labs and homework tutoring that help make learning a priority. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Lecanto. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.